next up, and we're going to have two <laughs> ecosystems. Here's what we're going to do. You each have a fish tank. And then we're going to go ahead and, and take this fish tank and turn it upside down over the pan of water. And Lizette is going to turn hers up that side down over the sod. And then what's going to happen is this. This is water. And if we warm up the water, it turns into vapor. vapor. And then the water vapor is going to go up. And when the water vapor hits the sides of the tank, it'll condense. We'll be able to see it make fog. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring in a heat lamp. I'm going to shine it down on the, the water. We have a second one, and we're going to shine it down on the grass. Okay? And then what's going to happen is this. Plants love light from the sun, and they love heat. And plants take in gases and give off gases just like you do. Mm -hmm. And they do it a lot. And they give up a lot of water vapor. Okay? So what's happening is some of this water is turning into water vapor, but over here, I want you to, we're going to watch these two tanks and we're going to let them go for a while. And what we're going to try to look for is look for fog to form on the sides of the tank. And we're going to see where does the fog happen first. I'm, I'm seeing fog in there for sure. Yeah. That one's going slower than this one, like, even though there's is. more water. Yeah, because this one is a, you know, it's a pretty full pan of water. And this yeah. one, there's water, but it's, it's in the grass, which is a little bit, it's a little bit moist. And we're going to give it a minute. Now we can see a big difference. Look at this side. Mm -hmm. Very foggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very foggy. Fog. And this side over here? It's like nothing. Like nothing. Not so much. Even though more water in here, less water over here, but it's being sent into the air at a much greater rate. What this tells me is this, that when you're talking about the Earth's climate, you can't just treat the physics, you have to treat the biology. The plants are really important because the plants are taking water, turning into water vapor, it goes up, and then it condenses and makes water. And so it's taking energy from down here and sending it up higher. So we can live without like plants or trees? Oh gosh, no. No, no plants, no trees. The world is a very different place and not a happy place. Ultimately, the basic physical principles of energy exchange are what determines the Earth's climate something that's been well understood for quite some time. As we'll see, then we'll come back, do a few more experiments.